over there and see what's going on. tables, people bringing food, um, making their own announcements in class, um, and also connecting it with the community spaces. So one of the community spaces is uh, the Eastside Cafe right here in Encereno, uh, have lent us some of the tables and chairs from the beginning. That's where Beto um, Yeah, Roberto. Yeah, you guys, if you guys know Beto, then we're in the same, we're in the same boat. Yeah. We went to UCLA together yeah. in the 60s. Yeah. But I, I wanted to see, back in the 60s, before the, the Chicano movement was going strong, I was active at UCLA in what we call the experimental college. That we. Um, Here we are at Cal State LA where the media is covering the students' resistance and their people's library. Come out and support them. I know that we, I know for free we don't need to ask permission to use the outlet here. Do you pay for that electricity? Directly? No, we do. Directly? Does it come from your pocket? Yes. 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 I pay $2,000 for the recorders so that I can utilize. Your salary is paid by the students. Everything has to be spent equally. Everything has to go through the private channels. Everything has to be documented. All liability has to be covered. If somebody tripped up for a quarter in our fall, who's responsible for that? That's, 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 relevant, that's relevant to the campus. That's what you think that's all you care about. They fall, they fall, they fall. But what about the cost of liability for the university? You know, we agree. Exactly, but now they're going to cover for you guys being after. Yeah, just like, just like they cover every day. Study at your own risk. That would be something that you point out there. But again, you have to go through the proper channels to do that. You can't do it on your own. I know that you understand what you're saying. I do, I'm I sure do. that you agree. The problem right now Don't is be not, sure, but I okay. understand where you're coming from. Okay, well, at least to the extent that we can't talk to public, uh, public affairs right now, that nobody told us you can't be here. But as far as we're concerned, as students, we have the ability to be on campus to utilize these things as long as you're not obstructing the peace, as long as you're not interfering with anybody else. I know that for sure. The outlets that are right there, that's accessible for the students to utilize any day, any time, as long as we're not interfering with anything or anybody. So at least for uh, this space is not designed, nor is it <coughs> been put aside for you guys to. That space is designed for us to study, and it's closed, and I, we need to get our study done. I understand that. That's the library has the library point. hours. And we're talking to the, the student body president standing right now, and the newer student body president to try to get some sort of accommodations for our students because we don't have a place to study. I would love study. for that to happen. Now, we also, we also have but somebody have here from... That people are coming through on electric cars. We have people on campus that are still working. We're still driving through our unit. We have to control There's no the reason of... Uh, you can't, can you please stop interrupting me so I can just finish my statement so that I can get on with this. You are occupying the space which is not allowed for us to occupy. You are taking power in the facilities that have not been designated for you to use. You have to go the appropriate channels to get approval and authorization so that you can be out for as long as you need to be. But I can't give you the authorization. We're not you asking you for authorization. So you need to find the appropriate person to contact you. Just, yeah. I would suggest you contact all the competitors. We'll do that. And, and, do that. Do and that's sushi. great, but for tonight, you're not going to be able to stay out here. I was We're going to stay. We don't got nowhere else to go. That's the reason we're right here. What are we going to go to McDonald's? What happens sorry, if the students decide? But this is not a well, let's, let's have video of this. What happens if the students decide not to leave? recording? Yeah. 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 If we stand up ground and we say we're not going to leave, contact public affairs and the right person to come here and give us an explanation why we can't use this space. That sounds fair to me. Yeah. And then also, if that's, what they, if that's what they told you to tell us, that's cool. The problem is that they're telling us when they're gone. So we don't even have an opportunity to dialogue about it. Can you guys contact each other to get on a chat and chat? Amongst ourselves. We got it. Yeah, the, the thing about... So how long have you known that you were going to have this event? We just thought about it last week. 
when we when we the library is open, open we have to study. Yesterday. We're here yesterday, yeah. so yesterday you were out here. Yep. It didn't occur to anybody. There wasn't any problem. No, so obviously, why are they trying to make it a problem? Probably because they saw somebody saw you out here yesterday. Yeah, and the reason the reason why we didn't we don't see a necessity to have to ask them <coughs> is because this space right here is utilized all the time on campus. And it needs to be. But if you're occupying it, how is it going to be utilized? We're not occupying. We're utilizing. Utilizing. <laughs> but it needs to be open for everybody to access. It is. We are. Everybody. We are the students. Come join us. Everybody. We are the students. You know we're, we're the ones that use it. As people are walking out of the library, we we give. We give them the information, come and use it. Come and use the space. I know you gotta study, we gotta study too. Is Bring the table. Space to give away. No, it is a, we're not, and we're not giving it away, we're not. Okay, we're going through the channels. Um, we've already been. Uh, Who is your point of contact with the Who is it that you're talking to? Hey, Susan, uh, hey, what's the name of the lady that we just sent the email to, Susan? Actually? Leticia Gomez knows about this. They basically told us. They bas oh. <laughs> um, She's student discipline. <laughs> yeah, the, the That's, That's where we go. <laughs> I'm, I don't think it's only fair that you allow She's on our side. to be here tonight. We can, I could go, I could talk to Dr. Rasa tomorrow. I can talk to whoever I need to talk to to make sure that students are not victimized in this way. You think it's fair for me to allow you? I can't allow you. That is not within my power. Yeah, but you can't restrict, can, can you restrict them then? Are that, you going to restrict them? Why then? If you can't allow them, why are you restricting them? Because we have university policy and that's right. Well, right. you just said because public affairs is under in the charge. Because you're that you will abide by those policies. Because as a student issued a student ID card and attending this university, yeah, sure. you state and you sign that you will go but ahead. As campus police, we expect you all to protect and serve us. By but by victimizing us, you're not doing that. You do not. Get a picture of him saying that. Because, you know, he's a student body president standing up for him. We're not the only students on this campus. And we have to be equal and about that's what we thought. That's what we, we are the about. only ones because everything's closed. That's what we thought about this. It was for, it was for everybody, and also under, also understand that um that the policies, rules, and regulations that have been told to you to tell us apply inside of the buildings, outside of outside of the buildings, like right here especially. Student conduct is campus wide. Right. So student conduct is important. And what is a student conduct other than study? Are you going to kick people out if they study on those benches there? If we're studying really there? good on, on the media. I mean, in reality, really that's what it is. All we're doing here is just utilizing it's nothing the against right anybody. There's more lighting, being... number one. Number two is right across the from the library. Right across from the library. Make sure that's you get a satchel, student all athlete, student body president yes, standing right up for a right. What they're doing, they're going to tell you what they're doing. Yeah, and there's nobody here that's... I don't know, like, I don't know if... I'm just kidding. So there's no difference in studying here. Yeah, because you guys, you just mentioned the word conduct, and you also mentioned that this isn't open to everybody. I'm trying to make the point that it is open. No, that's what I'm not saying. It isn't open to everybody, but it needs to remain open to everybody, not just everybody. Specific. Yeah, everybody. 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 You want to come and study with us? In a wheelchair, they'd have to make their way around. And I'm saying the space is not open. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. we totally you recognize the space that you're not allowed. The cars are occupied. Totally right. I mean, you can drive your vehicle right through there. And it won't bother anybody. And we're not occupied. That's actually we're really more not. dangerous by you driving. Yeah, yeah, you're at the no stage of these cars driving. Nobody. Because, like I said, this is. You said you were in the process of. Oh, yeah, right now. What's that What's that youngster's name? The guy that was right here? Cuss from the paper. Yeah. What? Cuss at Susan Tucci. He's also part of ASI, and he's a. He's a student body president. Yeah.